HTC and we're here to talk about the HTC One. The HTC One is 12 years of work that's built into this perfection phone. So for example, first we have the world's first full metal body phone that's thinned down to four millimeters and nine millimeters at its thickest point. So incredibly thin with our curved back that feels great in the hand. There's still, a, where's the SIM card go? The SIM card on the slide here, you have a SIM card slot. It's a micro SIM. So it's still, all, there's no plastic door on the SIM card slot. Correct, correct. So the phone was made for the first time with zero gaps. So if you take your fingernail and slide across the back of the phone, it's seamless. So the antenna here was built right into the metal, fused between the metal there. So incredible zero gap construction. Now, with the new HTC Sense, we built the information that's important to you and brought it right to your home screen. So your home screen is now a live, fluid home screen that gives you the information from the places that you want to see it from. Whether it be your social networks or your favorite categories of news, you can add that right here. Simply by tapping on your home screen, choosing topics and services, we've worked with hundreds of content providers to allow you to select individual content providers or swipe over and see categories of content that you want to add. So these are the categories that are important to me that I've added to my home screen. And when I go back home, that's available to me instantly. What's the name of that? Is HTC? This is the HTC Blink feed. Blink. If, if you don't want Blink, is that a big widget you can turn off? No, no, this is the, the main home screen. Now, if you're interested in adding a shortcuts like traditional Android phones, as you swipe over, okay. you'll see your, your custom panel, and while you only have one, you could add additional panels as you see fit to build that home screen that you're interested in. Yeah, so you can have the old school, but it's still the HTC uh, Blink screen is always the default screen. Always the default here. Now remember, you select the content that you want. So for example, I can, if I just wanted to see my calendar, have that there on my home screen. I could add calendar in one content provider. Or I can have as many content providers as I'd like and have that constant feed of information. Okay, cool. Thanks. So it's kind of, it looks, I mean, it reminds me a little bit of having Flipboard on your home screen almost. You know, Flipboard is the application. This yeah. is a lot more yeah, integrated. Yeah, no, yeah. Yes. I mean, but I mean, the, in, in the way, it presents the information to you visually and from a, a variety of themes and things like that. Absolutely, so. absolutely. So another great feature that we have, this is the, the first camera that has what's called an ultra pixel camera. So traditionally, when you look at megapixels in the past, an ultra pixel will allow in three times as much light as traditional megapixels. More light means a higher quality photo. So for example, when I go into our gallery, and I'll show you some photos that, that we have preloaded on here. But all of your photos are organized into albums or events, different memories that you have. And this is all done automatically, requiring no work from the user. So as I go into my events, sorted by dates, I can see different things that we've done. So for example, a day in the park. If I tap on that album, I'll see all the photos that I took at that park, 64 photos. And at the top, automatically will be a highlight reel that'll go through some of the memories from that event. And that requires no work on my part. Now if I tap on that, a quick 30 second highlight video will automatically have been created. So I can actually watch this, share this, to give people an understanding of what that event was like. And this is for HTC Zoe, right? Correct, this is an HTC Zoe highlight reel. So as I make this louder for you, you can remix the entire video at the touch of a button. So for example, if I tap here and select Eiffel, it's gonna remake this video with a different filter, different soundtrack, and different look and feel. I noticed one thing as we're looking at the video here, that the speak, there's two stereo speakers on the front, and that was brought up. Obviously we can't show how loud they are, in this room, it's the loud environment. Is there any stats on how cool the wattage of those speakers So that, we have a whole demo station over there that really talks about HTC boom sound. You can kind of hear it. Remember, the phone itself has a 2.55 volt amplifier, making sure that with the dual stereo speakers and facing forward, you don't see any of that or you don't hear any of that distortion. You know, it's right in your face. So that's going to sound great, and that's called HTC boom sound. Now, we, you mentioned the camera. Um, but we didn't talk about, it has ultra pixels. Is there like a number, like a, 
it is not measured the same way as regular megapixel cameras. I mean, what so an ultra pixel is combined of, uh, comprised of three layers of 4.3 megapixel sensors. Okay. Those form the ultra pixel together. Can you show us some of the other sort of standard Android features? It runs Jelly Bean, right? Correct, correct. So you still have a regular amp draw and all those kind of things. Correct. Well, it's, it's slightly different. So for example, if I open up my grid, You'll see it in a very clean interface, and in this grid you can customize it. You can select the way you want to see the grid, whether you'd like to do it alphabetical, apps in your most recent form, or choose a custom organization. So as I go into my app draw, I can actually from here drag applications into their own folders. So similar to what you might do on a home screen, but in the app draw itself, making it very fluid and customizable for you. Are there any, uh, along with, other than HTC Zoe and some of the, the gallery, are there any other uh, updated custom HTC applications, like is the email being updated to a new version of the HTC email client? Well, this is all part of the newest version of HTC Sense, so we've made, obviously, some enhancements to the email client. I don't have an email account installed in there, but what we've done is we've made it very, very elegant. Instead of having, you know, a full custom screen, you have all the information that's important to you in a very smooth and beautiful interface. Now, one thing that wasn't mentioned, uh, the hardware specs. Um, did they really mention the processor that they at the... Uh, it's a Qualcomm S4 Pro. Pro I'm sorry, yeah. S7 Pro. No, S4, S4, S4 Pro, Pro. I'm sorry. 1.7 gigahertz quad-core processor. And it, and it comes in 64, 32. Correct. Now, also, another enhancement that we've made is the Sense TV option. So Sense TV really kind of changes the way that you, you watch television at home. Once I've selected my provider, I can, and I can select my favorite shows, it'll show all those shows for me and allow me to instantly tune to them. What uh, country will this be available in? In, in many different countries. In fact, over a dozen. Hold on. I'll show you. Probably so, not Canada, though, right? Canada. Oh, Canada is there. <laughs> So, yeah, so, so a lot of different countries we have content for. You could select individual channels that you'd like to show or hide, choose HD if you want to prefer it. Now the great thing about this is someone once told me, and I found this kind of funny, the way we channel surf today when you change channels, it's kind of like phoning your friend up and saying, hey, you want to talk right now? No. Hey, you want to talk right now? No. Now I can select those TV shows that I want to watch and instantly choose them, and that will actually transmit via the power button. That's the IR blaster right there. You point it to your television, and it'll change the channel for you. Also, in addition, right in the notification panel, as I slide down, I'll have access to the TV remote control features, so I can swap back and forth between different programs that I've recently watched, mute the television, turn it off, or if I want to channel surf in the traditional way, hit the remote button and change the channel. Is the um, IR Blaster accessible to third-party developers, so can other developers make applications and take advantage of that hardware? I unfortunately don't know the answer to that question, but we do have an HTC dev team that can yeah. better assist you there. But I do know that you can actually manually train the remote, so if you have, say, a projector that you'd like to control using this, you can train the remote directly through the blaster. And um, one other thing that's mentioned was the uh, microphone. Can you talk a little bit about the uh, advancements you guys have put into the microphone technology on the HTC One? Sure. So with Sense Voice, we have a microphone at the bottom and a microphone on the side here, right above the camera, that constantly listen to the ambient sound and will change the in-call volume and frequency response to make sure that you're getting the best quality audio. This isn't just noise canceling, it has an intelligent processor to really kind of decide, hey, you're in a concert, this is the voice that I need to focus on and then transmit that voice properly while simultaneously raising the volume of the speaker to allow you to hear the person that you're talking to in a loud environment. Thank you for I guess, uh, you know, you've shown everything you need to see, so can you just uh, rotate the phone around a few times so I can just get a sure, some good sort of shots and just try and get the light on it. Yeah. Thank you very much. Unique type of uh, type of experience for this device. Cool.
So you'll see also you can do HD, uh, HDR video now as well. Uh, so you can see the photos in here, a lot more crisp than you would see on another camera. Uh, and then also if I go into um, HDR video, which is, here we go. So you'll see one was taken without HDR video and one was taken with HDR video. Really takes out that background reflection, uh, really overall crisp photo. Sure. Uh, it's probably my favorite feature too is the object removal. So if someone tries to photo bomb you, uh, and, you know, really try to take away from a great image, you have the ability of actually removing uh, that object in the picture. So to show you that, what I can do, you'll see there's people walking here in the background. If I go ahead and press on the image, go to edit, and then retouch, and I can do object removal. The camera is automatically going to know what objects I want to get rid of. It X's them out. Go ahead and hit done, and no people walking in the image anymore. Cool. Phenomenal, really cool experience. Nice. And then also, as far as the Zoe, you have the ability of sharing this. So let's say you have family members that aren't able to see some of the pictures you've taken, uh, you know, that, the, the events that you want to. What you can do is share a link, uh, and they have the ability of seeing uh, uh, 13 total different images of, uh, of that Zoe. So you send it to them, you can create, you can put in a, a calendar, you can put in a title. Uh, it really creates that uh, kind of virtual photo book um, for uh, photo, a virtual scrapbook really for, uh, for everybody out there.